What's up everybody, I'm going to be coming back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 modding video. Today we're going to be learning how to install 5M for GTA 5. So, um, just to put this out there, this is not related to Grand Theft Auto Online. Um, 5M servers are a whole different uh, ball game within itself um, compared to Grand Theft Auto Online servers. They are not the same whatsoever. 5M just uses the um, game files you have on your PC to uh, use as assets for their servers. So just to let you know, it's not the same. Um, that's how they can kind of do that without Rockstar getting pissed. Um, but further on into the video on how to install it, first you want to go to your browser and you want to look up 5m.net. I'll put the link to this down in the description below. Um, once you're here, I just installed it uh, to see how it would work and it's not the exact same as when I installed it. Um, so all you need to do is none of these, just the big green button says download client. It doesn't matter if you're on Windows, Mac, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, just, just install it and then just open it. Once you installed it, it should run uh, for a little bit and then um, I believe when you first install it, something should pop up saying uh, choose the folder Grand Theft Auto 5 is in. Just find out where your game is, where your actual Grand Theft Auto 5 folder is, and select that, and then it should continue to run, and then open it up to this. It should look something like this once you get into actual 5M. So this is kind of like a, a hub for everything. And then it has all the servers listed, um, all of these servers. It has tons of more servers that are whitelisted, which pretty much mean you have to kind of apply to get in them, mostly like uh, roleplay communities. Um, I'm sure you guys know all about it if you've been watching videos on 5M. So there's like thousands of different servers, if they're not a million or so. Um, then you got different options, uh, supporters. These are people who pay 5M, so that uh, people who support 5M, their servers get listed here. Um, your history from other servers are here. Um, sometimes not all the servers you uh, join won't show up here. I've figured that out. But you can click the star here and save servers. And then that it would be a favorite, and you can go over here to favorites, and favorites will show up. That doesn't work all the time either. Um, I think it's just mine. But uh, direct connect, you click that, and you type in an IP. I have IPs already in there, so I'm not going to click on that just for um, the video's sake and the IPs being leaked. But um, if you click that, you can um, type in an IP address if you have one of a server and uh, directly connect to it. And then you have localhost, which um, if you have your own home server that you run, then you can click that and automatically uh, put you in that. But if you don't have one, then that button means nothing. Settings, um, that's pretty straightforward. Your player name, um, you type whatever in there. Uh, you can have dirt themed or you can have light themed. Light themed is kind of bright. I like dirt themed. Um, and even if you don't have a local host, you can actually take that off or untick it. Um, that might be default. I turned it on since I do have a, a local host server. Um, your custom port you can put in there if you know anything about that. Your language can be selected here. There is music. Um, you can enable that. I have it disabled. And then um, you can read the rest of it. And it pretty much all means uh, it's all self-explanatory. So that's about it for um, 5M itself as far as the application of it. Um, the next thing I want to show you is a little bit of how it works. Um, if you go to your search bar um, and type in 5M and you right, cl right click on it and do open file location, it should bring you to the shortcut I believe and then you open file location from the shortcut and then go, once you're there um, you should see three files, 5M which is an application, 5M single player which is a shortcut and 5M application data. Open up 5M application data. Once you're in here, you'll see a bunch of folders. Um, I have mods and plugins and stuff. So pretty much what that is, this is where you would put like visuals mods for 5M and then client side files, which if you join a whitelisted server, you'll have to install stuff sometimes and they should provide assistance and help with that. Um, every server is different with how to install certain stuff. So um, I, I can't really express, explain it in any video. Um, unless it's a particular mod or with client side files that I can look at and see. But most of it's pretty much self explanatory. You open it up and it has all the directories already written down for you. So all you have to do is just find 
which files they go in or which folders they go in and it's not hard at all um, if you learn to navigate this pretty well then you can definitely mod grant the Thoto 5 if you haven't already already if you haven't known already how to do it um, this is kind of the first thing I learned how to somewhat navigate as far as Grand Theft Auto mod stuff um, but other than that that's about it um, if you have any questions leave um, some questions down in the comment section below I'll try to answer them it's best to join the discord down below in the description because I can definitely answer questions a lot easier and we could actually hop in a discord call and I could screen share or you can screen share and we could try to sort a problem out if you have an issue um, I am not responsible for if you mess something up with your game, just want to throw that out there. Um, you shouldn't have any issues uh, with um, 5M. I haven't had any issues with downloading it. Sometimes it randomly crashes, just, rest uh, just restart the um, 5M and you should be good to go. If it's a major issue, look it up online, look up the error code or look up the whatever error name message it gives you and you should find a, a fix or solution for it. Or if, if not, give it a few hours and it should fix uh, since 5m is not technically a an actual game it's more or less just a um, application to get into game servers then it can be a little sketchy at some points with um, working or not working but uh you shouldn't have too many issues um if you do and i can't solve them there's a forum over here and 5m also has a discord you can join and that's actually pretty useful um if you do want if you know about stuff you want to look at there's actually um, a thing called docs um, and stuff like that um, there's cookbook forms you can find all kind of stuff on um, you have to go through the verification process and I'm not doing that right now um, I know I'm a human I don't need to tell the machine that I'm a human I'm not doing that right now because it's uh, pretty um, useless to the video um, I might do another video covering 5m files and stuff but other than that, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Leave a like if you um, want to see more 5M mod videos. Uh, follow my Instagram and Twitter in the uh, description below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you.